Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Freshers Now. In today's video, you are going to hear about a very important topic that is about Wipro's NLTH. Now, for all the candidates who want to go into a, Vip a company like Wipro, this is a very helpful video because in today's video, we are going to cover the test pattern, the syllabus and also the type of examination that you have to take up for Wipro NLTH. I know that this exam is very challenging, henceforth we are going to give an idea and also a little bit of description for the, so that you can be well prepared for attending your exam. Before we get into the video, I would like to give you all a reminder that the exam pattern or the structure of the examination might differ from time to time according to the official websites which will be in, uh, telling which will be given out by the Wipro. So please make sure that this video will be just giving you an information or an outline or giving you just an idea about how to get prepared for getting into Wipro company. So stick on to the end of the video so that you will hear some good news from Freshers now. So the exam pattern or the exam format is going to be under three sections which is you have to take an online test. The online test consists of the quants, the verbal and the logic. So quants, verbal and logical round should be taken all at once. There will be no time gaps and there is no way to escape either or one. You should take up all the three sections. Number two is essay writing. You will be given a topic and you have to write 400 to 500 words at a stretch. The last but not the least is the coding round where you have to uh, present your answer in the form of code. Now in the next section of the video we are going to see what is the syllabus that you have to prepare for the exam. In the quantitative aptitude round you have to cover up the uh, topics like time speed and distance, problems on trains, clocks and calendars, logarithms, pipes and cartons, uh, averages, profit and loss, time and work, divisibility, HCM, LCM, all such topics should be covered for your preparation. For logical reasoning round, uh, topics like data sufficiency, syllogism, inferred meaning, logical word sequence, data arrangements, directional sense, objective reasoning, coding deductive, so all these kind of topics you have to make sure that you are well preparing for your exam. Now whatever the topics that I am mentioning here are just a gist and also they are these are only some of the points which I have collected and put it down here. There are many other topics which are going to be covered. Please check their official website for more details. The verbal English round you will be uh, pre preparing under the topics like synonyms, antonyms, sentence corrections, tenses, also uh, prepositions, conjunctions, articles, speech voices, contextual sentences like that. So again once again these are just the topics which I have jotted down. You can uh, check for more topics in their official website. Also, this is just to give you an idea that how the syllabus or the topics that the exam is covering. In the coding section, you will be covering uh, C, C++, data structures, Java, Python, Perl, etc. Now, when you are do, uh, preparing all this, make sure that you are covering up all the topics which I have mentioned in each of the section. Now in this section of the video we are going to see about the test pattern. How is the test is going to be conducted, how many questions they, the exam will be given and also the time limit for each of the questions which will be given. Now for section verbal ability you will be given 22 questions and you will have to answer in 18 minutes. For logical reasoning you will be given 14 questions and you have to do it under 14 uh, minutes. Quantitative aptitude uh, with 16 minutes having 16 uh, questions. Essay writing as I've already mentioned they will give you one topic you have to write a descriptive of the topic in 400 to 500 words. The topic will be given only one and you have to answer it in the form of an essay. 
only one will be given and 20 minutes will be given for you to answer the question coding will also they'll be giving you only one question which you have to do it in the form of your code and that duration is for 20 minutes now we will see what is the qualification and the education requirement that this exam or the Wipro NLTH needs you have to do your 10th grade with 60% aggregate or above, your 12th grade with 60% or aggregate above, your graduation should be 60% or aggregate above and also make sure that your university, your college that you have gone or the certificates that you have is under the university guidelines. The qualification that they need is B, BE, BTech or 5 years integrated with a Masters in Technology. This is the most important section with, of the video because this in this part you will know what are the other criteria and other main important rules that you have to keep in your mind before entering into your exam or applying for the Wipro NLTH. Now the other criteria consist of you should have maximum of three years of education gap that is considered but more than three years I don't think that they will be considering you for the role. Also the three years gap should be between 10th and your graduation and not more than that. It also should be a full time degree courses and also should be recognized under a central or a state university under the government of India. Please make sure that your graduation certificate which should be, will be, should be a full time one and also a recognized one from a state or a central university or from the central or state government of India. Next, all the backlogs need to be cleared at the time of the selection process. Now, even if you are in doing your final year, you have the chance to apply but make sure when you have passed out your graduation that you are remained with zero backlogs. If you are having a backlogs, then there are chances that you will be rejected. Also, should have been completed all the exams and the training and there should be no pending of attendance for the requirement of selection. The candidates who have participated in the interview process which is held by the Wipro in the last six months are also not eligible. This is the most important thing which all the candidates should remember. If you have already applied uh, before to the same company called Wipro, then in the last six months of the selection, then you are not eligible to go further for applying. Note that Wipro exam NLTH pattern may change from time to time. I have already given you as a reminder in the beginning of the video that this exam pattern and or the structure of the exam might change from time to time. So please make sure that you are uh, being aware or well updated with the official website respectively. Alternatively, you can also check out the uh, Wipro official website www.wipro.com. Now, we have provided Wipro NLTH exam pattern in the link below. If you want to know more or if you want to gather more information about this particular exam, please click on the uh, link which is mentioned in the description below. As I've already uh, told you about the good news from Freshers Now, now, Freshers Now is offering you free mock test for your preparation. You can enhance your preparation skills and also your enhance your preparation time. We're using our mock test papers and then be more prepared to take your exams. You can check out our website for more details and for taking up the exams as well. Remember, this exam is for free and also you can take up as many mock tests as possible. So this will be the outline or the out structure of our website. So here you can enter your mobile number or you can log in with your email address which you have and then you can create your account. You can take up all these free mock tests accordingly so that you can have more uh, confidence on yourself and your preparation as well. I hope this video is helpful for you all make sure to please be re be remindful of all the reminders that i have given you in this video along with the exam pattern and the syllabus 
covering up the test format as well please make sure that you are not missing out any updates especially from the official website of wipro i hope you like this video and please share it with your friends whoever are going to take up this exam anytime soon also don't forget to subscribe for more uh, learning videos and also placement videos from freshers now thank you everybody and all the best for your test